So yes, you can use VR controllers. And this is how it works. It's kind of like a pointer here. You grab on and you move it around. You can also use two hands. So this hand I can do something else like this. Also, this works with a gamepad or a Hotas or a joystick if you like. So you, whatever you want to use, you can use. So you see I'm turning knobs like this. And then I'm pressing switches like this. But I'm clicking the button. It's not like I'm pushing. You have to click the button like this. See? And I'm turning it. If you don't want the line, just press R3. Control stuff. So you can use two hands, one on the throttle, one on the joystick. Yeah, you can even hit the little switches on top of this. You can also use the joysticks on your VR controllers. If I'm, I'm, see, I'm using a left joystick now, and it controls it normally like a controller. And then same for the hot air balloon and other stuff. You can uh, move it around with your touch stuff like this. Engine. Okay. It's uh, quite nice to use with VR controls. Open the door. <laughs> I can walk outside. Whoa, this is weird. By the way, the VR version works for the Xbox PC Game Pass version and also the Steam version. All you have to do is launch the game, get into the game, and then press Control Tab on your controller, uh, on your keyboard. And then here, you see you're in the you're in VR now. Just press Shift. And now you're in VR. You can also press the X button on your left controller if you're on a quest to straighten your view, like this. Simple. 